this use case, we are going to use File Grabber to import records into the problems table. Uh, the kicker with this is that these records reside on an FTP server in our network. And File Grabber is going to go and retrieve those files uh, through the mid server and then import them into our problem table. So in order to do this, we'll go to our File Grabber menu. And before we set up a File Grabber profile, we want to set up an FTP connection. And we'll name this You can name that anything we want, uh, but we'll name it getting problem records. Next, we need to enter in our server and the port. Since we're using FTP, we're going to stick with the default port of 21. We could also opt for FTPS or SFTP. We'll enter in our username and our password. We don't need to use a proxy server, so we'll leave that unchecked. Also, we'll probably just stick with all of the um, default settings here. All right, there's our FTP server entry connection. Now let's go ahead and create a file grabber profile for our problems. We still need to specify a mid server because it's the mid server that's going to be connecting to our FTP server because it's behind the firewall. We're going to run this on demand. Of course, we could put a schedule and have these run. Well, actually, let's, let's run these periodically. And we'll set the uh, interval to be every minute. We're going to store our files on the mid server in a sandbox directory. Now, this directory will get cleaned up of the files that we bring over from the FTP. But it has to come from uh, the FTP server to the mid server, and then the mid server then pushes it to the instance. So I've created a, a folder on our mid server device where these files can reside. We're going to use FTP to transfer those files. So here we will select our FTP connection that we created earlier. And then we need to set the base FTP file directory. We've stored them in a folder called problems. Next, we want to update the data source. We're not just attaching files to records. Uh, we're going to update the data source. And let's just grab anything that starts with, uh, that ends with a CSV. And also, um, there's, if we were to look at our files on the FTP server, there are 235 files uh, that have come in from our system. Our system keeps pushing uh, random files out uh, as CSV. So what we want to do is, obviously, we can only do one file at a time for an import. So uh, we're going to um, grab these files as we go along. And we want to get the oldest file first. and uh, delete it once we have read the file. So we need to check a data source. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, we'll go ahead and select a data source I already created for this uh, example. And this is just a standard CSV uh, data source here. And after the file, after we import a file, we do want to delete uh, that file. So we'll We'll click that, and we'll go ahead and uh, save this profile. Next, we can execute. Now, of course, this is going to run every minute. This is not a scenario you would typically use. Usually, this would be a day or, or whatnot. You would have to be careful not to get these to overlap. What's going on is we're going to go and grab the file from the mid server, and uh, we're going to grab the earliest or the oldest file. And we're going to bring it over and uh, attach it to the data source. Then we'll create a scheduled job and execute that scheduled job to import that data. Now, because we're working through a standard data source, we can only import one record at a time, one uh, file at a time. And so we want to set our repeat interval in this case to be long enough that uh, the imports don't overlap each other. Because we might miss a file because we're going to delete the, the attachment on the data source. And then we're going to uh, put the latest or the, the next file up on the data source and, and kick off the import. So you just want to make sure your repeat interval is sufficient to complete one of your longest imports that you might ever expect uh, from, from that particular system. So uh, let's go ahead and check our problems table. And as you can see, we have 18 problems um, that were imported. Now, this should be kicking off every minute and picking up any new files. 
And so let's just go look at our FTP server. And we had 235, let's refresh. And we now have 233. So it means that uh, this that our scheduled uh, file grabber import has processed two files. Uh, so every minute, since that's the schedule we have this on, we'll probably see this uh, number decrease. There we are, 232. And to check that, we did have 18 problem records just a, a minute ago. If we refresh, we now have 27. So we know that our profile is just slowly picking off those files and importing them uh, into ServiceNow.